Hey people, welcome to The Run Test, it's Kieran here, and I am up early, it's about half past four in the morning, and I am about to go and do a race test, an ultra race test, 60 kilometers, the Big Feet Sky Ultra here in the New Forest near me, I'm gonna be testing these. These are the North Face Flight Vectives. We've done a review of these on the channel before, Nick and Tom have used them in the past. I'm about to kind of lace them up though and take them for a little bit of a longer run than those boys did doing 60 kilometers over some sort of quite hard packed trails, not too much steep descent. So we're gonna find out how they hold up. They are fresh out of the box as well. So this is a fresh out of the box 60K test. Let's go and have a look and see how I get on. So I've just put these on in the house before I leave and there's two things that I've already spotted that are a little bit worrying for me in terms of the overall fit. The first one is that they are massive and long in the toe box. It feels like they're a size too big. These are my size, UK eight and a half, but there's a, there's a lot more room than I've had in many shoes. They feel like they're a size too big. The other thing is at the back, the heel sort of comes up quite high. It looks almost designed like it's <laughs> in a way that it just why that's gonna rub. I have a big fear that that is going to cut into the back of my Achilles. Um, that kind of very, very high heel. I'm not sure why they would have done that. Might not happen. Let's go and see. Um, we're going to persevere. We'll see how we get on. This might be the worst decision I make in a long time. So 14 miles in, shoes so far actually have held up really, really well. I'm running, I don't know if you can see behind me on this kind of quite compacted kind of gravelly stuff. It's where I normally run around the New Forest. We're at the Big Feet Ultra. I've got Jakob here. We're pretty much on our own, but this, these shoes have performed really, really well on this kind of terrain so far. Soft enough, there's enough kind of response going on. Actually that weird kind of extra in the toe length that I talked about when I first put them on was a bit of a worry. It actually feels fine. Um, we haven't done too many steep descents, so it'd be interesting to see if my foot slides when I'm going down steeper bits. But yeah, for this kind of fairly flat, fairly groomed kind of hard pack trail, so far so good, no hot spots, uh, good foothold, and lots of kind of roomy space in the toe box, decent kick underfoot. And for a 30 sort of seven odd mile ultra like this, these feel like a really, really solid kind of shoe, but we shall see when we get into the meat and drink of this run, because we've only really just scratched the little surface so far. But yeah, we'll catch you later. <laughs> That's 22 miles, 22 and a half miles in, basically three and a half hours done. Still running on similar kind of trails. We've done a few kind of steep a little bit, some some quite kind of uh, rocky bits and all. And the, the shoes under that, they were fine. You do feel a few of the little rocks coming up through, but in a pair of shoes like this, where you've got a little bit of softer cushioning, that's not going to be a massive surprise. Overall, the thing, one of the things I was worried about was the kind of curved sort of heel area that kind of goes up around the back of the Achilles. I thought that might dig. It looked like it was sort of built and designed to dig in. It hasn't at all so far, which is grand. That's great. And otherwise, for, for a run like this, where I've been swapping between these hard compact trails and we've done stretches of road, again, a bit like the On Cloud Ultra, a bit like the Innovate um, G300 Max, these have coped really well crossing over between compact trails and a bit of tarmac. So when you get to the tarmac, you definitely kind of feel that kind of um, responsiveness that you're getting from that sort of 3D carbon plate and that foam so I've, I've actually so far been very impressed we're running pretty well to be honest my legs are not feeling as beaten up as i thought they would by this stage and uh 
yeah, although we have still got a decent chunk to go, but so far so good. The, the flight Vective are doing a sterling job so far. So that's it, race done, 62 kilometers, and I think a, a cheeky little joint third between us. Um, so how did the shoes hold up? Well, overall, I have to say on that fresh out of the box, I'm pretty impressed with these for that kind of race. Again, I sort of said earlier, it's about kind of compacted trails, nothing too steep on the descents, um, bit of road, you know, so, so sort of fairly light trailing really by comparison to some of the stuff you might find, but there's, you definitely feel the roll and response in these shoes. You can feel that kind of carbon plate kicking in at the right points, particularly on the flats, um, I found. And then when you hit the tarmac as well. Overall, the fit and everything went fine. There was a couple of times, you know, I mentioned that kind of long toe box. A couple of times when I sort of got a bit sloppy in my form where those long toes, because I'm not lifting the shoes quite as much, I did clip my back toe, well, my toe, the toe on my back foot a little bit. And I think over longer distances, that may be a little bit of a problem. So I'm feeling maybe I might half a size down in these um, just to get a little bit more control. Um, otherwise, not really any hot spots or problems. I, you know, they had good lockdown fit. There wasn't too much sort of, or any kind of sliding or foot movement in them. And that kind of, that punchiness, there's a sort of the soft foam is definitely softer than a lot of trail shoes that you'll find out there. I think they are certainly softer than like a Cloud Ultra. Um, I think slightly softer even maybe than a, than a G300 Max. Um, and I really enjoyed that actually for this kind of run. Uh, they, you know, afterwards my legs are not as beaten up as they should be really having done not as much training as I ought to for a race like this. We ran pretty well for the whole thing. So overall with the North Face Flight Vective, I think that's a shoe that I'm pretty impressed with. And in terms of more usage in Trail Ultras, I would definitely put that into the pile of shoes to run in. So a couple of days after the 60k ultra where I tested this and I had a little bit more time to mull over how I think these shoes perform. There's a few things I wanted to add to what I already said on race day. Now one of those things that I didn't talk about is this grip on the outsole. You've got what um, North Face calls surface control outsole kind of rubber here. Um, but you can see though you've, you've really got kind of quite small lugs. They can't, they can only be like a couple of millimeters tops there. And I think again those will fare really well in those kind of dry sort of fairly flat not steep conditions i haven't tested it on the big steep descents but i do wonder what might happen when things get a little bit more wet and a little bit more slippy on very kind of more technical kind of steep down hills and for that reason i think this is a shoe that's suited to more sort of easy easy trailing that doesn't potentially sort of go too far up and down although having said that the other thing that north face will say is that there's a 10 percent uh impact reduction on your kind of tibial um, impact with these shoes I on the big steep downhills. I didn't get to test that, so I'm not really sure about that. But what I will say is a couple of days afterwards that my legs feel a lot more kind of fresh than they would have done really based on the training that I put into that run. So that's a positive kind of um, performance there. I have a bit of tightness in my in my quads actually, but nothing down the lower limbs, nothing in the in the calves or in the shins or anything like that. So you know maybe maybe that's doing a job here. The other thing that I will say actually these matrix kind of um, uppers uh they got wet a couple of times during that run uh it gets a bit boggy where i run fit foot dipped in the water a little bit and actually they dried really quickly which was a nice touch which i forgot to kind of mention on race day the other thing is also you've got this kind of booty sort of construction here it actually matches the sort of booty construction that you'll find on something like the on cloud ultra it's a bit more padding on the on cloud ultra than this one it's a bit more kind of weight saving there it's a bit more minimalist and around the edge kind of the heel collar and stuff um, but that kind of held really nicely and actually it, it hugs really nicely across the top of the foot in those runs and I felt very secure kind of throughout um, 
on that run. I mentioned the tow box as well. I'm just sort of holding them up against the Cloud Ultra. I've noticed that actually, although they feel long in the tow, actually the length of the shoe is pretty much the same. So I'm assuming that there's some kind of deliberate move here by North Face to give you a little bit more room in the tow box to let your sort of toes, avoid that kind of bashing up against the end of the toe. I still have a feeling that I might go half a size down there because I was clipping my toe on my sort of trailing foot sometimes. The other thing to say, I think I didn't mention it, it was its stability. I ran on some areas where, you know, we're talking about kind of little little rocks rather than sort of fist size, um, but over tree roots and, and, you know, some stuff that was quite kind of bobbly and bouncy, went through some sort of rutted ploughed up fields that had sort of dried up and gone hard baked in the sun. So they were really uneven. So some terrain that was going to test the stability of these shoes. And actually, that's one of the things that I didn't mention whilst I was sort of doing the run feedback but actually looking back I do feel like these shoes performed really well from a stability point of view I felt you know really sort of nicely in control uh, although there's kind of a big stack of cushioning here I didn't feel like that was interfering with the kind of ground contact in a big way um, and that's something that I really like they don't run quite as firm as the on cloud ultra I think there's a bit more uh, sort of softness here and again, I don't know whether that's some of that's coming up through the midsole, but also even from the insole feels a little bit softer. So at the sort of base of the foot, you're getting a little bit more comfort than you would from something like this, a little bit firmer. So depending on where you fall on what you like with that, between these two shoes, a bit more soft, a bit more firm, I would say. Uh, I think the rocker in this one is a little bit more pronounced as well. And you can sort of feel a bit more propulsion from that, that 3D carbon fiber plate for sure along the flats and the kind of more rolling stuff that I did than you would in the Cloud Ultra. Now, I, I definitely would put these two shoes in a very, very similar bracket. I do feel like they run in a very similar way and I think they might be a shoe that we'll do a comparison in depth of later on the channel uh, to go really into the nitty gritty, but these are two shoes to actually think about. I, uh, I don't know, for me choosing between them, I actually, I, my favorite was the Cloud Ultra before this and this run has made me really interested to give this North Face Flight Vective some more kind of runs out to see because I just feel like there might be a little bit more pop in it and a little bit more overall comfort, um, particularly kind of in terms of that kind of protection for the foot and the foot and kind of that propulsion. Overall, maybe the uppers on this potentially a little bit more comfortable. So it's a bit of a bit of a half and half there. Uh, the final thing to say, I think, is that um, I, the only other thing about the booty construction, they're quite tight across the top, is when I got back <laughs> to try and take them off, I did find it quite hard to get my foot out and uh, when you've got kind of sort of tenderized feet after an ultra that can be an issue you want a shoe that you can slip off fairly easily this did take a little bit of wrestling in fact to avoid cramping up in a terrible state I had to have someone else sort of help me wrestle them off my feet but you know that's a it's probably a small thing and it probably happens with a lot of shoes but just one thing to note that sort of tight enclosure if you've got sort of quite high or wide feet like I do you know, they, they weren't the easiest to slip off after. And if you were thinking about changing socks midway in an ultra or something like that, that would be a consideration, I think, here. Um, in that sense, I think they felt a little bit more like a kind of Salomon where, you know, they're not the easiest to get on and off. But um, overall, yeah, I'm, I, I was quite impressed with the, these. And I, I think these are a really interesting shoe. Good for racing ultra distances where maybe you're not taking on major, major kind of steep descents. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, if you've got any questions about the shoes, hit us up in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe on the channel. And yeah, we hope we'll see you again on the Run Tester soon. Cheers, guys.